بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لاسٹ ٹائم وی ور ریڈنگ دس چیپٹر چیپٹر نمبر فور انٹروڈکشن ٹو ایراب وی ہیو رن دا تھری ٹائپس آف ایراب وچ آر ناؤن ایز رفا حالت رفا حالت نصب و حالت جر یو لرن دیٹ وین اے سنگل ناؤن ہیز دما اٹ از کال مرفو and when a singular noun has fata it is called mansu ism and when mufrad ism has kasra it is called majroor ism you have learned these things in this chapter so here we will revise those things nothing new here so fawz adana assalamu alaikum warahmatullah وعلیکم السلام ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ This changing of case is referred to as declaration, a rub. A noun may appear in any of the three cases, nominative, raf, accusative, nusp, genitive, uh, jar. Al jar, okay. So you need to memorize these three names, rafa, nusp, and jar. Exercise number one, state whether the underlined word in the chronic verses below are in nominative, accusative, or genitive case. So here they did not write uh, underline any word, but in the second word they have uh, underlined a word. So the next student is Mr. Miss Khatija. So Miss Khatija, is this one al ard? Marfu, Mansub, or Majroor? Tell me the reason also. Uh, Marfu. Um, Marfu. Yeah. Because it has Dhamma. It is Marfu. Oh, Dhamma. I didn't want that. Yeah. Okay. Dhamma, yeah. Okay. Uh, two, um, that is Mansu. It has a Fata. Yes. It's accusative. Um, this is genitive because it's got a Kasra. Say okay. Majroor. It is Majroor. Majroor because it has Kasra. Next. Uh, Zawju is um, Mafur, which is called Dhamma. And Jannata is uh, Mansu, which is called Kasra. Next student is Mishkat Fatima. مشکات فاطمہ دس ورڈ اللہ واٹ از اٹس ایراب سر آئی لاسٹ مائی انٹرنیٹ کنیکشن سو آئی کانٹ ہیئر یو واٹ از سوری سر آئی کانٹ ہیئر یو واٹ از اٹس ٹولڈ اباؤٹ اوکے آئی تھنک شیئر سم انٹرنیٹ پرابلم نو پرابلم یو کین لسن دین مس Next student is Ms. Rahma. Ms. Rahma, what is the name of this word? Majroor. Why? No. Why this word is Majroor? How do you know that this word is Majroor? Because it has Kasra, okay? Mm. Next. Majroor. Reason. Because of Kasra. Next. Majroor. Reason. Because of Kasra. Next. Marfun. Marfun. Because of Duma. Next. Marfun. Because of Duma. Okay. Next. Nasbu. 
Mansub. Reason? Okay, Mansub. Mansub. Because of Fatia. We don't have anyone here. Okay, and the next student is Muhammad Sam Usman Ambalo. Mm, sorry. Yeah. Assalam. Majru. Majru. Because of Kas. Correct. Next. Alma E. Majru. Kas. Because of Kas. Shay in because of Kasra Marj Majrur also because of Kasra Salamun Marfo because of Dam Asama Majrur because of Kasra Ma'an Mansub because of Fathatayan. Is is majzoom okay? This word uh, is majzoom. majzoom. Why? Sukun. Because of sukun. Next. Salaman mansub because of fatata. Next. Al alma o marfo because of dam. Wala dan, Mansu because of Fathatan. So the next student is Mr. Ahmad. So, which one? What are okay. Allah, uh, Allah, 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 because of uh, Fata. As, as because as Fata, so it is Mansub. Next. Fiorashan. Uh, it's also Mansub. Mansub. Reason? Because of uh, Fata. Fata. Next. Waladin uh, Majroor. Because of uh, Kasra. Kasra. Next. It, uh, uh, it's also uh, Marfu. Marfu. Reason. Dhamma. Dhamma. Okay. Because of Dhamma, it is Marfu. Okay. So next one. Wala dun. It's also marfu because of dhamma. Next. Sahibu sahibun. It's also marfu because of dhamma. Al insani. It's a majroor because of kasra. Majroor, na? Yes. Next. Hmm. Next, which one? This one. Your cursor is still on in Sun. The I'm word listening. is underlined. Tell me about the next underlined word. Uh, dahri. And this one? Uh, dahri? Yes, uh, Dahri. It's uh, Majroor because okay. of Kastra. Next. Shayan, it's uh, Marfu because Mansub. of Mansub. Mansoub, okay. So, uh, can you please share the, the lecture in which uh, you have uh, explained the, uh, these rules? I have sent the Thank link you. of playlist in the WhatsApp group today. Okay. Maybe to yesterday I sent, I think today, yesterday I sent the link. In that link, okay. you will find the recordings of all classes. Oh, okay, okay. Exactly. You all students better save that link. Sure. The next we have Mufad, Musanna and Jama. Mufad means singular, Musanna means dual, and Jama means plural. So in English we only have singular and plural, but in Arabic we have an extra category which is known as Musanna, dual. So you will learn oh. about 
these uh, Mufrad, Musanna, and Jamma, and you will also learn their Arabs. Now, let me tell you important thing. Before this, you have learned that when any word has Dhamma, it is called Marfu. When any word has Fata, it is called Mansub. When any word has Kasra at the end, it is called Majroor. This thing is valid only for Mufrad. And also for, you can say, 75%. Mufrad Ism. For the rest of word, this sign of Fatta Dhamma Kasra is not valid. So to differentiate between Marfu Musanna, man, Majroor Musanna and Mansu Musanna, you need to learn some more rules. Similarly, to differentiate between Marfu Jamma, Mansu Jamma, Majroor Jamma, you need to learn some more rules. And also, there are some mufrad on which this thing is not valid. So for them, you need to memorize some extra rules. Slowly, slowly we'll study all those rules, inshallah. Okay, the next student is Ali Sheri Ibrahim. Ali Sheri Ibrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as salam. Read this. Oh, 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 it's not too much on my side. I'm, I'm on the road. No problem. Yes, oh, should... Okay. The singular, the dual, and the plural. Al Mufrad. Al Mufrad. Al Mus Al Musana Wal Musana Al Jamir What? Wal Musana I can't hear you clearly say Wal Musana Okay Wal Musa okay Wal Musana Wal Jamir Wal Jamir The noun can be classified into three kinds with respect to number these are the singular, al mufrad the dual, wal muthana, the plural, al muthana, the dual, al jamia. So tell me the three kinds of Islam according to their numbers. Okay, al mufrad Al Mutana Al Jamia. What is the meaning that is of Mufrad? The, Mufrad is the, the, the plural. Singular. Mufrad means singular. The, oh, oh, the singular, sorry. And Musana. Al, Al Mutana is the dual. And Jamma. Al Jamia. That is a plural. Al Jamma means. Plural. Plural, plural. Mm. So you need plural, to memorize plural. this, okay? Then the okay. next student is Faz Adana. The singular nouns and it is declaration. Ismu Mufradan wa Arab. Al Ismul Mufradu wa Arabuhu. The singular Mufradan is a noun that denotes one different, e.g., pen, galam, kitabun, book, bait, house. The case forms of the singular now have already been mentioned in chapter four to recapitulate. To recapitulate, denominative and it is sign. Al marfu wa la a singular name. Read the footnote. Now. Read the footnote. The singular. Do you the know singular what is footnote? You said what? Read the footnote. 
that was not okay. This one. This the singular the, the door and, and the plural. The nominative case is termed Rafael or ah, that's Rafael. The, the Doma who is known as Allah Mati Rafael. What is the next? This one, a singular noun is said to be Marfo. A singular noun is said to be morpho whenever it appears with a doma who in a synthesis. Since the doma who is an indication of its being in the nominative case, it is declination is expressed as follow morpho be doma. The conditions under which a noun may occur in the nominative case will be explained later. D, the, the accusative anti-sign. Almanso wa alamatao. To who? A singular noun. The, the accusative case is term her letter nos all a nos and the fat a ha is known as alamati nos the the accusative and it is sign almansub wa alamatahu a singular noun is said to be mansub when it is followed with a fat ha ha and it is declined that Monsu be fatha. The reason for the accusative case will be shown later. C, the gentif and the sign. Majurur wa alamatao. A singular name is said to be Majurur when it appears with a kestro. E. Uh, it is declined as following Majurur Bikesro. The reason for the genitive case of a noun will be explained later. The accusative the case. Genitive case. Accusative case is the term, genitive case. Number two. The, the accusative case. The genitive term, case. Number two. Ah, the gen. Okay, leave it. Tell me. I will ask you a question and you will answer me, okay? Sign of When a Mufrad noun is Mansub, how will you tell whether this Mufrad noun is Mansub, Marfu, or Majroor? 
what are the sign like the word al kitab so when will you say that this word al kitab is marfu any one answer when ba is damma is fa zadana other student better wait for fa zadana miss fa's no when will you say that word al kitab is marfu marfu yes with damma with damma so when it has damma you will say it is marfu and when will it become mansu when it has fa's dana do you know yes or no marfu bi fatiha so fa's dana did you understand or not answer with yes or no if you don't know then just say no she is not available i think next student is ali sheri ibrahim do you know when a mufid ism is mansub what is the sign for it he is also not available I, I yes, I can hear you. Okay, so tell me when a mufid noun is mansub sign. Why is mansub when it when it asks fatiha? Fatha when it has fatha and when when it, it asks fatha yes. And when does it become? When it has fatha at the end. And what is the sign for majrur? Sir, what is the sign for majrur? Oh, ma uh, majrur yes. When it asks kasra. When it has kasra at the end. Okay, so you yes. are making a nice this thing. Yes. And when mufrad ism has dama, okay. it is called marfu. When mufrad okay. ism has fatha, it is called mansu. And when mufrad ism has kasra, it is called manjuru. Now we will look at the others, which is musanna and jama. We'll see what are the other signs for marfu, manso, and majur. So, the next student will be Mr. Jibril Slahodin. Miss Khatija. Ma'am. Yeah. Okay, I'm someone is asking. Reading. Wait a minute. Jibril is asking that he did not get Marfu, Mansub, and Majrur. We studied in the last lesson, okay. and we studied it today. So, watch the recording of the class, then you will understand it because you have missed it. If you still don't understand it, then you can ask me. Okay, Khadija, continue. Okay, um, the dual noun and its declension. Um, the dual muthenna is a noun that denotes two reference. Muthenna wa irab. How to form the dual from singular? The dual is formed by adding the, the termination elif and noon to the singular noun. Example: two books. Yeah. Don't read the bottom. Yeah. Okay, yeah. two books. Kitab, kitab plus ani equals kitab bani, two books. Kalamun plus um, ani equals kala, kalamani, two trees. Cedratun plus ani equals sedratani, and uh, two trees. Zaratun plus ani equals zaratani. All these musanna have alif noon kasra at their end, so and all of them are marfu. So when a musanna has alif noon kasra at the end, it is called marfu. Okay, 
When Musanna has Alif Nun Kasra at the end, it is called Marfu. Remember this point. Now we will study the Arab in detail for the Musanna. Ms. Khatija? Okay. The dual noun and its declension were Thana with Arab. Examples nominative case, um, Marfu. A tali bani the kiani um two clever students accusative mansub kabel kabel to ta tali tali bani genitive major. Salam to Alal Talibina. Talibani, sorry. So here you notice when a Musanna is marfu, it has Alif known Kasra at the end. But when it is a Mansub or when it is Majroor, it has this Fatha Ya Sukun known Kasra. Fatta Yasku Noon Kasra. So in Marfu, it has Alif Noon Kasra at the end. In Mansub, it has Fatta Yasku Noon Kasra. Remember this point. Now he will explain this to you. Read Khatija. Khatija. In the nominative case, e.g., Tali Bani, this alif changes to yeah, 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 in accusative, accusative and genitive cases. Tali Bani, you would have observed that the rougher, rougher nominative case of the singular noun is indicated by Dhamma, where the rougher of the dual is indicated by Elif and the mansub, the accusative case of the singular noun is indicated by a fata, where as the nest, um, yeah, um, the jar, genitive case of the singular noun indicated by, yeah. The dual has the same form in both the accusative and genitive cases. Okay, so Khatija, tell me what are the sign of Rafa in Musanna? Sign of Rafa in Musanna are Alif. Alif. Or if we want to say it in Tid, then you can say Alif Noon Kasra, okay? Okay. So I will write here Alif Noon Kasra. And what are the sign of Nasab in Musanna? Um, yeah. Yeah, correct. Yeah. But if we want to say it in detail, then? Yeah, Noon Kasra. Fatta Ya Sukun. I'm oh, sorry. Noon Kasra. Okay. And in Majroor, what is the sign for Musanna? Yeah. And in yeah. detail, it's yeah. So you all note one thing that in singular words, whenever you see Dhamma at the end, you say that the ism, ism is marfu. In Mufrad Isam, when Mufadism has Fatah, you say it is Mansub. When Mufadism has Kasra, you say it is Majroor. But in case of Musanna, we don't have Dhamma at the end. You will never see any Musanna Isam with Dhamma. You will never see any Musanna Isam with the Fatah. So in Musanna, when Musanna has Alif known Kasra at the end, or just Alif, you can say, <coughs> then it is. 
مرفو when musanna has fatha ya sukoon noon kasra it is mansoob and when musanna has fatha ya sukoon noon kasra it is majroor so mansoob and majroor form for musanna is <coughs> same but marfu is different okay so here is the thing you can make it screenshot as well if you want these are known as <coughs> sign of irab sign of rafa sign of nasab sign of jar so the next thing is jama but here we have exercise <coughs> change the following nouns into dual dual he is asking us to make this ism musanna so to make ism musanna is very easy you will just add alif noon because all of them are marfu so to make marfu musanna you will just add alif noon kasra at the end rajulun rajulani imraatun imraatani like this so khatija abdul qadir what is the musanna of al maratu maratan al maratan next this land good المزان. Good. القطيفان. كعبان. Good. جنتان. So this exercise is easy. So when you will write them, you will write their meaning as well. Meanings are available at the end of the chapter, or you can use dictionary to write their meanings. Okay. Then the two kinds of So now we will learn the Jama, Arab of Jama. I think we better start this topic next time. Yeah, we better start next time. So inshallah, we will learn the Arab of Jama, the plural, in the next class. Inshallah. If anyone has any question, they can ask me. Uh, Miss Mishkat is asking how to form Jama. We have not learnt yet how to form Jama. We will learn Jama in the next class. That's why this table is empty at the moment. When we will learn it, then I will fill it. Inshallah. So to make a musanna, when no, let's. Wa alaikum assalam. Yes. So in Musanna, in Musanna. So how can you know that this one is mansub and this one is majrur because they are the same? Yes, we will tell that according to the sentence. Okay. So there are some rules. We have not studied those rules yet. Once you will study those rules, then you will tell whether this Musanna is mansub or whether it is majrur. Okay. Thank you, sir. And someone is asking me that how to make musanna. So let's suppose I give you this word kitabun, and I will ask you to make it musanna. You need to add only alif, noon, kasra. You will add alif, noon, kasra at the end. It will become musanna. So. Let me add here, kitab. Kitab is the original word. You will add alif noon kasra, so it become kitabani. So kitabani is musanna. So to make a mufrad is some musanna. Just add alif noon kasra at the end. If it is marfu, this is only for marfu is some. If 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 it were kitab bin instead of kitab, the musanna would be kitab bin. Kitab bin. Then to make it musanna, you will add fatha 
یا سکون نون کسرا سو یو لیڈ دس ہیڈ آفٹر ایڈنگ اٹ اٹ ول بی کم کتا دس از دا اوریجنل ورڈ دین یو ول ایڈ فتح یا سکون نون کسرا کتا بینی سو کتا بینی از مجرور مسن سملرلی اف سم ون گیو یو اے منسوب ورڈ منسوب اسم مفرد منسوب مفرد اینڈ آس یو ٹو میک اٹ مسن دین اگین یو ول ایڈ فتح یا سکون نون کسرا اگین اٹ ول بیکم کتاب بینی سو دس کتاب بینی از منسوب مسن اوکے اینی باڈی اینی کوشچن آئی تھنک یو ڈونٹ ہیو اینی کوشچن سو وی اسٹاپ ہے اینڈ نیکسٹ ٹائم ان شاء اللہ وی ول کنٹینیو ما سلام Thank you.